Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 999. I'm your hostess, Let's Play Princess. It's 17 degrees in the room I'm currently in. I have a jacket. I'm still in my work clothes. I've been in here for a few hours now recording the last two episodes of this series, and I'm so glad I got stabbed once a fucking again. So in this episode, we're going to do the entire white timeline, which means this is probably going to be another two and a half hour long episode. Don't know when I get near the end. Couldn't tell ya. But it's whatever. And all that means is that hopefully by the end of this episode, I won't be killed off again. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? I have four separate fucking things to listen in the... This is not going to be one episode. You know what? This is going to be one episode because the red timeline was a single episode. But now we can skip around. Woohoo! The actual Titanic! Oh, the actual Titanic? The actual Titanic? A big, big boat! You mean it, like, slipped through time and ended up here? This is not the Philadelphia Experiment. Please shut the fuck up. Before the ship sunk on April 14th, 1912? This is not the Philadelphia Experiment. Please shut the fuck up. Uh, hmm. If you reference the Philadelphia Experiment, I swear to God. Huh? What the hell are you smoking? I wish I had something right now. Huh? Did I get it wrong? Oh my god, June, please. No, no, that's not... I mean, come on. I mean, slipped through time? Seriously? I, a game. I was talking about the controversy surrounding the Titanic. What the fuck are you... Controversy? Uh, what do you mean? The controversy about the fact that they fucking... You know, Iceberg crashed it. Nothing can sink this boat. Guess what? Something sunk the boat. Have you heard of it? It's pretty famous, you know? The Titanic had a sister ship that was essentially identical. Oh my god, we're really playing this game. It's called the Olympic. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yes, I have heard of that. I think Can I, I heard skip? it was troubled by a lot of problems. <laughs> we are, we are not, there are three boats. And the company that owned it didn't know what to do with it, right? It's the Titanic, the Gigantic, and the Olympic. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. They made the Olympic up to look just like the brand new Titanic. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. That's right. They also took out a huge insurance policy on it before it set sail. Except I don't like Christopher Columbus, nobody on the Titanic, or th who created the Titanic, supposedly raped and pillaged all the fucking native people on a bunch of different islands and then say let me have a holiday that would mean that the real titanic never and we let him have a holiday for god knows how long yeah the ships got swapped the real titanic was renamed the olympic in secret are you joking are you telling me that i'm on the titanic and the titanic that sank was the olympic why is this a thing they used it as a is this really a thing this isn't a years. thing this is not a thing. Hey, wait a minute. Is this a thing? Wouldn't that mean it retired in 1935? E yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess sometime around then, yeah. Well, what happened to it after that? It's in a warehouse. It became the ship of Theseus. I don't I know. It was dismantled. Dismantled? Then it doesn't matter, does it? This clearly can't be the boat because it was dismantled and slash or sunk to the bottom of the ocean compared to which story you want to go with. Mm -hmm. This has to be the gigantic. Whichever boat that big, the big, real love. Titanic was, it doesn't exist anymore. The big, big love. It was either retired and dismantled or sunk in the Atlantic by the curse. Which is probably gr by the... Oh my god, is she actually going to start talking about the curse but again? Then that would mean that this ship is... Wait, what did you just say? Huh? Sank in the Atlantic because of what? The curse. The curse. The curse. The mummy. A, a curse. Yeah, are we actually going to go over the mummy thing again? A curse is a curse. 
Oh, please, game, don't do this to me. This one is the curse of the Egyptian mummy. Can I skip? Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. From a yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this bit. Yeah. I was gonna say, definitely saw the bit about her talking about a fucking mummy. Ooh, I got oh, the yeah. thing. Never mind. I don't need to read any of this shit. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. Oh. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Supposedly, I have a fucking thing, you mababa. No, 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 no. Shut up, goddamn you fucking. Ah! I gained a white key. Was that not enough? Look, white key. White. What? Why have a white key there? Was this just to confirm that I'm, I jumped to this timeline specifically? Was that all it was? I, uh, 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 I, I assume both of those are keys. Or did I just have to hear about the fact that there was an Olympic? I am on the gigantic. Okay, where's the new thing? Like now he's talking about Ice Nine and. One another. Oh yeah, now we're talking about Ice Nine. information in a way humans couldn't perceive. Yes, magnetic fields, morphological fields. I mean, whatever the fuck it is. This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Yes. Yeah, that's. That's it exactly. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait. Whoa, hold on. No, hold on. Because what? When did Junpei learn those words? He learned it from Santa. What timeline did he learn that from Santa? Where in the timeline did he learn it from Santa? Because there's a possibility that right now I just did some time jump shit. But how did you know? Is this is this game Junpei fucking learning to access timelines? I heard another story uh, kind of like that one. Uh huh. When? Santa in the freezer. In the freezer. Okay. That would be the kitchen, which would be the fat past. Yes. Yes. What? The freezer? I'm like now worried about how the timeline works out. Yeah, June told me. I thought it was Santa. Okay. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? Yeah, ice nine. It's great. Sounds familiar. It's awful. Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Why does the cop know about ice nine? Do you? Do you know about ice nine? Ice nine? And he's gonna be like, oh, I do remember this. Ice nine. Ice nine. Ice, ice, ice. All ice. That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. That woman? There is no such thing as fiction, just nonfiction written in the wrong parallel universe. I like that. Some uh, future roommate wrote that. I guess it's from Night Vale. I don't remember that from Night Vale, but I mean multiverse theory. I believe in multiverse, so actually, yes. Alice! That also means that all uh, comics and s stories and stuff like this is all one universe, or uh, all multiverse. Because if multiverse theory is correct, then technically there should be a universe out there where 999 happened. Which is really great. That's why I try to give good endings to all my stories, because... There's a, there's a possibility of the fact that it could be happening in another reality, and I don't want to give people a bad end it's it i'm crazy okay god help me who's alice all ice on. the woman who won't melt at room temperature what the fuck are you on about huh? you know how the titanic sank on april 15th 1912 right I thought it was 14. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. <sighs> More than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. Man, until Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah, actually, no, that wouldn't count, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? No. Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? Did he go? It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. 
Vigo de Caribbean? No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> this is gonna get fucked up. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. Why? McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. The one you were wrong! Set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered. Th uh. Uh? I'm, I'm using a controller. Thank you. Y yes. Thank you. Maybe? Did you desync? The, the battery work! 306 bodies. What the fuck? <laughs> I pull a battery out, I pull a battery back in. It understands what the fucking controller is. Great, fantastic. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. That That is how nature and temperature work, yes. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. No shit. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? A uh, woman who wouldn't melt, I guess? What the fuck? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. A woman who can't melt, named Alice. Oh my god, and there's a book called All Ice that's all in Egyptian hieroglyphics. It's the woman who can't melt is Amun Ra. No, that would be too stupid. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Like, like even, like, like I love each Spike Chun sock, but even then, that would be too sack. dumb. One of the things they found was a coffin. And I liked Tribe 9. A coffin? Oh my fucking... Yeah, a wooden one. <laughs> Don't do this to me. The <laughs> made it Don't do this skill. to me. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. Things are tight. <sighs> oh my god. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're actually doing this. I had to get a wedge and hammer it open. It so Inside. They found a woman. Or, I guess you should say, they found the dead body of a woman. Lotus? Her hair was thick and black, and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. Oh my god. Say that she was gorgeous, like a goddess. I mean, she might actually be knowing Spike Chun's off at this point. She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. And she didn't, though. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. Cool. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. <laughs> and slowly decomposed. Actually, they probably very quickly decomposed. They say that the stink was horrible. Yeah, no shit. I wonder why. There was one body that didn't thaw. The fucking princess? That was... The girl in the coffin. Oh my god, the goddess! The fucking thingamabob. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. And a month passed, and another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. That is actually really fucking cool. And if it's true. People started to say she was some sort of With weird. our world, it could go either way. I, I never throw away anything until potentially we, we learn more. Rumors about her started to spread. Oh my god, my fingers are going, going numb. People came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her all ice. I swear to god. Alice. Yeah! Chloe Claire! Didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. She woke up and she walked away. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. Or she walked away. The body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. After a while, no one remembered her. You 
might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. Or she probably ran away. Wait, you just said that she was on this boat. Yeah. Oh, Lord, we found her coffin. No, we found a coffin, but it was a different shaped coffin. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Well, we found a coffin and it had a knife or a gun or some shit in it. What the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? Okay. So what happened to her after she was stolen? Right. Tell me. What happened to Alice? Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. <laughs> All I, love, I love this motherfucker just looks like a goddamn magician. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. You heard, but there's no fucking guarantee. The person who won the auction was... The CEO of a certain fucking company? Lord Dashiell Gordain. That name sounds familiar. Why do I know the name Gordain? You've heard that name before, right? Y maybe... I feel like I I know it. Lord Gordain. No, I know this. Where where do I know this from? Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the gigantic? Oh the Titanic sister ship? my god. <sighs> so he put the body on the gigantic, which is the boat we're currently on. A big big love. Yeah, that's him. Although I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912. Four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. Oh, so the timeline's a little fucky. He Alice somewhere on the Gigantic. Yes. But nobody knows where. Uh, probably in the same place that she was hidden on the original boat. And for all I know, she, she could have just told him. He died in 1931. And apparently, he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. It's a small boat! I mean, it's not a small boat, but it's not like a, it's a fucking city. To start looking. However, however, what? Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, "Where is Alice?" And he gave him a cryptic riddle. He said, "Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge, beneath the navel of the gigantic." In a small chamber past the forest of knowledge, beneath the navel. A small chamber past the library. What the hell is that? Is it some kind of riddle? Yes, the library. Fucking forest knowledge. Come on, this is actually like, pretty obvious. Your guess is as good as mine. If the boat has a library, just check the library. How fucking hard is this? So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. Near a library. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Near a library. Hmm. Oh, for God's sake, game. Is this the end? Stop wasting time and get out nope. of here! Oh god. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez! No. Uh. Yeah, so anyway, that's the story. Yeah. Be useful someday. Can we skip? Don't forget it. Alice. Seriously? Huh. That mummy cool. wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal a mummy. mummy. Oh my god, it did it melt! They it's in the thaw. That she was frozen. <laughs> oh my god, is this actually the shit that's needed to finish the story? story Are you fucking that kidding me? Time of its discovery, all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. I just want to be known that at this point right now, the story has to do with a Titanic clone. Sorry, two Titanic clones, a fucking mummy, fucking child experiments, and pharmaceutical companies. This seems like a Resident Evil plot. Even though it was carried through the desert? It seems like Resident Evil and Tomb Raider had a baby. Then was that Egyptian priestess, Alice? Did the water in her body become ice and ice? I was going to say, how many times have we gone to Egypt inside the fucking Tomb Raider universe? We did, uh... There was four. Which also counts the Iris stuff. And... I think a little bit of Tomb Raider 1 has Egypt in it when you're trying to find a piece of the Scion. There was Greece. I want to say Egypt was one. I want to say Egypt was one. No, that, that's nuts. 
There's no way somebody like Hey, if anybody exists. wants wants me on a podcast and and it's a Tomb Raider episode, I can talk a lot about Tomb Raider. I'm just saying you should take me as a guest if you're doing a Tomb Raider episode. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I grew up with that game. I grew up with us with all those games except for Chronicles. Hey, hold on. Oh, what's up? I even played the Game Boy Game Boy Color game, the first one. I haven't played Sora, and I haven't played the Prophecy, which is the Game Boy Advance game. Then I have done the reboot, the initial reboot trilogy, Lead End Anniversary in Underworld, and now I've done the real reboot trilogy, and I have not played Angel of Darkness, but I have seen all the movies. And I have seen the uh, the Game Fly show. And I own all the comics for the reboot series. Where's Clover? Evil Laura. Not like Clone Laura from Underworld, but I mean like a person in Trinity who is pretty much just Laura, and they eat the bark from the Tree of Life, and shit gets wild! Huh? <laughs> I could talk about that shit God all fucking it. day! Where the hell did she go? Fuck you, 999, this is now a Tomb Raider video! Uh, okay, j- just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Clover, what are you Super. doing? Just skip around... Gonna talk to her about a thing. Uh, told Clover they needed to leave. Gave her the four-leaf clover. Do I have a four-leaf clover? Do I have a four-leaf clover? Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. Seriously? A four-leaf clover. <sighs> is there gonna be supernatural luck in this like Dink and Rapa? Is giving her a four-leaf clover actually gonna help her find her brother? Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. What? Hope, faith, love, and luck. Shut up, the whole thing means luck. Fuck you. The whole thing also means killing a leprechaun. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You can stop game to remember at any mistake. point. And that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, That'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive, somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. You've just gotta believe in that. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> I hate this character. Oh, come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. Do you know about this historical fact that will be relevant to the plot at a much later point? What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? I fucking hate you. Uh, what? Oh. This better have to do with your brother. And the CEO of the pharmaceutical company. I guess it was just a coincidence then. I swear to God. I mean that you knew about the four leaf clover. What the fuck are you on about now? Uh, look, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh no no no! It's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? I hate you, Junpei. Just let her drop it. What is this experiment you were talking about? Oh, for God's sake. I promise you won't tell anyone? I promise to potentially not tell a single person on this boat until we leave this boat, yes. Cross my heart. I, why would you do that? Really? I hate you. Really? I can trust you, right? <sighs> you know what? If that's the thing that doesn't make me get stabbed, then sure, yes, you can trust me. Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll tell you. So once upon a time, my brother was kidnapped by a fucked up company. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Bitch, I was joking. Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait. On this ship? Don't even. You knew? You knew this whole time? Yeah, this ship. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> An experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Oh my god, don't even. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Morphological slash memetic fields, yes. Fields yes, we've gone through this. See? We've gone through like, this. Think about this. 
Ice Nine. This is John, right? Ice but Nine. Is he really John? Oh, don't even. Isn't this like Locke's socks? <laughs> Somebody watched too much Lost. Or the ship of Theseus? I hate you. What is what the fuck is Locke's socks? I mentioned the ship of Theseus earlier. Are you kidding? Um. What is Locke's socks? You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? Look, she's smiling. At least we brought some happiness to her. No. What the fuck is Locke's socks? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks works. I hate you. <sighs> Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. Yeah, and one gets- let me guess. One gets a hole in it and you replace it and then uh, the fucking- the other one gets a hole in it, so you replace it, and you just keep replacing back and forth. Here's the problem. The ship of Theseus, I can actually accept because there's a, there's a point where it stops being the ship of Theseus. And my honest opinion is that 51% of the original wood gone, that's when it stops being the original ship. When the majority of the original piece is gone, it is a different ship. But a pair of socks is completely fucking different. If you, it, it's a pair. It's not a thousand pieces of wood. It's a fucking pair. One of them gets a hole in it. I hate what you. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? I'd, I'd fucking continue wearing it, bitch, for like another year and just let the hole get bigger and bigger and bigger until half my toes are freezing off. So it's happening right fucking now. <sighs> Neither. I just continue living. It's what I do now. I... Okay, as a sensible person, I guess I'd fucking throw it away because p socks cost a dollar. Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. It's not like it's a fucking 100 pair, dollar pair of pants that has holes in it because you people are idiots. What is your favorite pair of socks? I don't care. Come on, who loves their socks that much? Nobody can see it, but my hand's being raised, and that's because I have socks that I actually enjoy, but I'm missing, like, half of them, and so it's fucking whatever. I will buy new ones. I will replace them at a point. It doesn't matter. Just suppose you do love them that much. <sighs> Fine, I, I will I patch know. it. But what if another hole opens? Oh. Okay, so it's not replacing a pair of socks one by one, left foot, right foot, left foot. It's literally restitching the thing. Okay, now it gets a little confusing. I'd add another patch, I suppose. Like the ship of Theseus is one I can answer, but once it gets to the some minuscule level that of a sock, I'm not entirely what sure. What if another hole opened after that? I guess technically, once 51% of the original stitching is gone, then it would be a different. So oh god, I don't like this um, paradox. Another patch. I don't I like guess? this fucking. I don't like the thought experiment. Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. I really don't like this. It's completely different with a sock in my totally in my mind, but okay, yeah. Once you get to that point. Can you really say they're the same socks you started with? I mean, once they look like that, fuck no. Hmm. Uh, well, that... That's... Oh, that, that's tough. That's an abomination next to me. I, I have a... Like, the fucking Elgato. Like, 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 look. Right now, the TV is in front of me. Recording with the Elgato, but the computer with the Elgato attached to it is to the left of me. And so I'm just looking at the left, and I'm just thinking that's not the same sock. That's not even close to being the same sock. I just throw that shit away at this point. So, that's the lock socks thing? The lock socks thing is once you get to two patches, just throw the fucking thing away. Yeah, How hard is that? Is a lot it's not like you're replacing a goddamn ship that costs thousands of dollars. It's a one dollar pair of socks. Just fucking toss the shit. How hard is that? Okay, yeah, yeah. We fucking we know what the ship of Theseus. 
Hey, do you <laughs> I'm skipping all of that. Everybody knows the ship of Theseus. What's the same? These guys. Is this John or is it Lucy now? Oh, I hate you. Uh, John's head and heart are both his. But apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm about to... I'm about to blow your fucking mind. The brain is the only thing that matters, unless you believe in the soul. Then the soul is the only thing that matters. If it's Lucy's body with John's brain, that's John, because it has John's memories. We're just like these mannequins. Now, if we get into the even more in-depth, it's Lucy's brain with John's memory superimposed in it, then I'm going to kill you. Think about it. But I would still technically say that that's John. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. <sighs> every seven years, you're a completely different person. Every cell's been changed. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Yep, yeah, we are living ships at Theseus. That's actually confirmed, by the way. Or maybe Every, like, seven years or so, your, your body's cells are pretty much all completely new ones over the course of that seven years. If you take it a little further... Welcome to life. Those cows and fishes are made from something else, too, right? Oh, I don't like the... Sp Listen, we're all cosmic space dust at the end of the day. How about that? Can we just formulate it down to that piece of logic? We're all space dust, and so we're all made the same That's shit. How we're all that sounds like a good idea. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Because hey, we could just go on forever. What taking you two so long? How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. Ah, uh, uh, anime! What were you two doing? Is this some sort of secret meeting? No, she's making me think about psychological shit that makes me question my existence. But thank you, Seven, for breaking that up. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of just getting annoyed with this game. Like, I, I do, I do like this game a lot of the time. But you can't add 15 threads of logic and plot with every fucking new level. We were just... This isn't a goddamn Kojima game! Just... Playing with the mannequins. At least Dink and Rompo just... It was one and done. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Everything added up in the end. Play Every time I mannequins. think I have everything, a new piece of the puzzle shows up. Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. Oh, absolutely, Seven. You know we like mannequins. <sighs> And switching the body parts of mannequins to turn them from male to, t to female. TFTG, am I right, baby? Dick. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna open. <laughs> losing my fucking mind here. Slowly and surely, I'm losing my goddamn mind. Alright, well that's... Oh my god, was that just the first part? Okay, no, 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 that was everything. Okay, perfect. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can dead you. Chat room, park it, watch. What does he have to tell me about the pocket watch? Yeah, there. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? Is this actually the fucking key? Are you snapping at him? We didn't have to split up the work. <laughs> I just want to talk. <laughs> Is this to actually it? Yeah. Could I have done this the whole time or no? I no, I didn't get a choice. There's something I want to ask her. Oh, is that really it? I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. That's why when Ace Who did the experiments? Who oh, was Ace? I remember him from from the time where he he and my brother were in a room together. Oh, oh. I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Get the fuck out, Mr. Turtleneck. Well, best of luck. I might not actually hate this game. I mean, I, I want to say I like this game. It's just complicated, and it might be just right now I'm irritated because I'm fucking cold. What and it's bleeding out into my enjoyment of the game. I don't know. 
Because right now it is currently at this cur it is at this moment 21 degrees. Why are you looking? Even with the jacket, my hands are completely uncovered, and it's been about two hours of recording for me. Two hours plus. Holy shit! So yeah, my fucking hands are just. Bleh. Oh, uh, no, 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 no! It's not like that. Oh, but it is Junpei. But it is. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. Oh my god, please. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started <gasps> Oh, in the yeah, room? yeah, we started talking about bullshit like Locke's socks. I don't care about Locke and his socks. Tell me about what happened on the boat. It's something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. Yeah, this is actually important. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. Are you fucking kidding me? Then there's no point talking to you. Just not in the mood, okay? There was no point to this. You understand, right? No, I don't, because you won't fucking tell me. Just, I keep thinking about my brother. <laughs> oh, no, not your brother. I don't fucking care about your brother. Tell me about the fucking experiment. I can't That's stop. actually important. I mean, who would do something like that to my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. And fucking, oh my god. I'm gonna get stabbed in another ending. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. I'm gonna get stabbed in another fucking ending so, trying to protect them. So, Junpei, who do you think did it? Ace. <laughs> well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. Ace. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. And if you subtract Snake... That means there were at least two other people. Ace. Right. Ace so and June. What does that mean? Ace and June. Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. <sighs> I don't remember what door it was. Three? Two? Two. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Okay, let me rephrase. Uh, he was, he was two, so you would need... 10 to add up to 12 to add up to 3 so 1 and 9 no 9 is dead 2 and 8 no because 2 is snake 3 and 7 that would make sense 4 and 6 that could also make sense except clover wasn't there so it would have to be 3 and 7 well really so it was santa and 7 or who who and who you mean it could have been four people Oh my god. Well, technically, it's possible. Oh god, I'm cold. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem very likely. Clover, I don't know. Tell me about what happened. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Just tell me Why about the boat. Why don't we just assume boat? it was only two other people for now? Fine, whatever. We'll do okay, it. Uh, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? Three and seven. Which two brace the numbers at to two would give a digital root of three? It would have to be Santa and Seven! Would it be Santa and Seven? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and Seven is... Three! Three! Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Ah! Santa and Seven? The killers? No, I just think fucking... I, I don't think... We know Snake's not dead. <sighs> What's wrong? But Clover fucking assumed, because she's crazy and she's stupid. She should have seen the body and realized the fucking arm was wrong. What an awful sister. That's what I thought. She's really bad at her job of being a sister. Oh, they must have murdered him. Look at his brutalized body with his perfect left arm. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. You're not gonna be another two and a half hour long video, right? There might be other possibilities. Can you promise me that, Cam? Well, what other An hour and a half, sure, but not two and a half. Uh, um... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to think, Clover, okay? I really don't think that's likely. I think I should grab a blanket. I think this this fucking jacket isn't doing enough. 
I think that I have no problem with the cold unless I'm in the cold for like more than an hour. Then I'm, I'm, I hate it. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Why? Yeah, here. You're gonna stab me in the eye with it? What's this? <coughs> are you serious right now? These are the combinations for three or four people. Well, okay, here's the thing. You can take F and H off. Oh, also C and B because you weren't there. These eight combinations <coughs> are the only possible ones. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you, right? No, 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 no! Of course. Why would you need to ask that? Why would you do this, you idiot? Now we're gonna die! Again! You're an idiot! Really? God damn it! Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Yes. Of course. Just cross them out. Yeah, perfect. Woo! You should take off yours, too. The ones with four. Hell yeah. So, what does that leave? I fucking, you would have to show me it again. A and E. Cool, so no matter what, seven is part of it. And so is A. Can we just say that Ace did it? Wait, it can't be A. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. You don't know, so keep your mouth shut. Are you sure? I bet my life <laughs> Okay then. I can cross off A too, right? I hope the microphone got that very well. Yeah. I'm assuming this USB microphone did not at all capture that audio as well as I wanted it to. Well, what have we got left? Well, first of all, I like to say fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. If you don't e. get it, why don't you go shove your head back up your ass and don't waste my time. I don't need your opinion. No, no. Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. I will always be a real big fish girl. Do you think that's likely? Even mm. if I listen to them rarely nowadays, because I'm not a big fan of their newest CD, it still doesn't matter. If there were four people, I'm gonna have to listen to it again. You're gonna have to give it a second chance. Cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? <sighs> I really talking about every single person trying to kill every single person. This is the everyone is a murderer timeline. Oh, you do have a point. This is the everybody sucks Maybe timeline. Seven. I know everyone seven. sucks. Yeah, I know everything sucks. Whoa, whoa. They could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. <laughs> Listen, I'm they didn't. They didn't even try anything. Just keeps going, and I'm cold. <laughs> if they were killers, help. Why wouldn't they? Give me oh. hugs. I see. Anyway, I need hugs. I understand. Oh, yeah. it seems I cannot wait to have a recording that area that is warm and is a bedroom, and I can just have my blanket, and it'll be great. Yeah. And that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. It wasn't Santa and Seven. It was fucking Ace. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Ace told them to. Their motive. Seven, what are you doing? He's a cop. <sighs> Have I interrupted something? Oh my god, Ace has been eavesdropping. Ace is 100% the person. Uh, I mean, we already knew Ace was a psychopath, but now he's just even more of a psychopath and is listening in to make sure that she doesn't say anything important. What is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Is this when you stabbed me like you stabbed a lotus in the alternate timeline? Go ahead. Okay. 
Is this when you stabbed me? Like you stabbed June Lotus in the alternate timeline? What did you want to talk about? How is this not fucking skippable? There was something I wanted to. Is this still the same thing? Yeah. What's that? If you'll excuse me. Hey, what the hell are what? you doing? I'm just. Checking. He took the fucking note. No, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah, this is the note. It should be the same. Uh, uh, just as I thought. It should be the same. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Oh my god, this is not the same. Uh, you switched them, didn't you, when we voted? How the fuck is this completely different? Um, it's the exact same conversation. I can't say that I care. It's the same combo. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. This is the I mean, same. Why did you... What the fuck? Your simple curiosity... I hope you won't think ill of me for it. What the fuck? Just let me skip. Uh, it's the same combo. Uh, damn. How is that not... Whatever. Red file. Oh, now we know what it's all like ice is. Ooh. A-L-L-I-C-E. Uh, now he can be like... <gasps> the fragments of my brain are piecing together. All ice. Alice. I've heard this before. What does this mean? This is the what same. What is this? Seriously? You can skip all this. But he so should know. Seem. Bottom deck. Library. <gasps> oh my god, that's where the body is. The forest of knowledge. Look, the card is even green. Like a forest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Alice sleeps in a small chamber. Can I just skip this part because it's the same audio from earlier, just in a different scene? The bottom deck, and the forest of knowledge is the library. Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius! Look at me go. Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? Oh my god, I'm a genius! Look at me go. What's wrong? Something on your mind? Fucking hell. Um, yeah. I just remembered something. Yeah? What is it? So, what about? Well, don't laugh, okay? I will try my hardest not to, Junbei. It'll be fucking hilarious, I bet. Egyptian priestess and Ice Nine. Interesting. Oh, uh, yes, very interesting, very interesting indeed. And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster? They called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice. And she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice. And you think that he hid her in a small room, beyond the library on the bottom deck? Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is just a theory. <gasps> I'm not even, I'm not even going to do it. Hmm. Very tempting, but no. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term Cass? <sighs> you better not be introducing me to something, yeah. Cass. It stands for Cells Alive System. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving oh. organic matter. Okay, please. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Please don't do this to me. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. You know what? Fuck this. I'm sending this to auto because my hands are cold and I'm putting them in my pockets. Cass, however, works differently. Yeah? The How so? Frozen is super cool using magnetic Ooh, fields, God, my fucking And hands. then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. Oh, flash it freezing? It was originally developed for the preservation of food as an alternative to the normal freezing process. This just sounds like flash freezing to me. Isn't that what flash freezing is? Maybe I'm crazy. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. <laughs> Cryogenesis! <laughs> other things. Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. <laughs> Cryogenesis! Space travel. <laughs> Are you fucking losing my. <laughs> Surely you've heard of suspended animation, cryogenic freezing. I fucking and I'm, I'm it's a so smart. Idea in science fiction books and films. Yes, I know. 
people are sometimes so it's time walking especially lengthy journeys through space oh my god my fucking leg what the fuck damn it mouse whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute there are you saying that alice was frozen using that cast thing well, i mean that would be some very well, freaky sure shit considering that it was fucking low, egypt it is a possibility how the fuck did the Egyptians do it? You know what? Never mind. They have weird period of magic. I don't know anymore. Does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously. Yeah. You think she could be alive? A person well, who's ice sure nine, person. technically. I'm only talking about. Oh God, that'd be weird. I mean, the I, point I, I can. Ice nine is 96 degrees, right? I don't she know. I thought the whole point of Ice Nine that was that it couldn't melt. <laughs> That's nuts. Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? Oh Your God. That sound unbelievable. Game, are you actually going to tell me that there's bitches walking around? For the man we found dead on the floor. You mean so she's no longer in the library. Potentially. Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. How did she get out of the library? Murdered, what the fuck is him. this? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. Yeah, nobody could have gone to the. No. In order could to somebody have gone into the quarters, captain room before him? I don't know. Maybe one. he was always dead. That door Maybe that he's always been dead since before we woke up on the ship. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lois. But who was phone? Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Who else then could have done so? Zero. Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth key, they turned back and met up with me and Jim. Or the real zeros out there and put the body on the fucking, or put the bracelet on the body after killing him to make it look like he was zero. Cause it's like Chunsoft. Literally, the only answer I have is just it's like Chunsoft. They do whatever the hell they want to do. No, still won't work. Yeah. We're only gone five minutes. No human being could have run to the captain's quarters, killed that guy in there, and run back that fast. My hands are still fucking cold, by the way. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. That being the case, who could have killed him? An Egyptian Wouldn't priestess. Would it make sense if this killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? Yeah, but not a fucking Egyptian priestess who was cryogenically frozen using Ice-9 in your weird caste system. <sighs> no offense, but that sounds crazy. A person like that would know the ship you know what? This is coming from the fucking pharmaceutical CEO that was trying to do psychic experiments with kids, so he might actually know something that we don't. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. Oh my god, he would know something. Dude, are you actually Lord Gordain? The number door would mean nothing to someone like that. <laughs> Fucking at this point, I'm just gonna accept that your Lord Gordain somehow still alive after a hundred years. It would be a simple thing for them to go <laughs> to the captain's quarters. <laughs> you look good for the age of a hundred or so. Then you're saying the killer was Alice? Well, this is all only one possible theory. Fucking pharmaceutical Always. psychopath. Alice. Is she really somewhere on the ship? Maybe this card will give me access to the forest of knowledge. Maybe it'll give us a access to the fucking ending of the game. And the, big the true ending. What could be there beyond the forest of knowledge? What could be beyond the forest of knowledge? Anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. <gasps> I can't do anything right now. Losing my mind. Again, I'm I later. keep saying that because it just keeps getting worse and worse. It will not be as bad when I'm in an actual fucking heated room. Huh. Z E R O, huh? Are we seriously doing this? It's like he's making fun of us. 
Yes, skip all this. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be zero. Oh my god, we fucking- I- I did it! I solved the equation! Huh? Two minutes ago. Look, I did it! Zero's the one who killed him! Put the bracelet on his body! Whoa! Don't you get it? The letters that spell zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with a zero on it. Yeah, I- I don't get it. It's too obvious! <laughs> <laughs> really? That, that that's your reasoning. <laughs> look, look, this is zero right here. This dead body is zero. <laughs> Junpei. One, I hate your logic. Two, I hate that it sounds logic. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. But fuck is you you are all serious. No, that, that's not the point. I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work. Which makes me wonder. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Oh, stop, Junbei. Huh? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking around with a zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Look, I'm the one who killed everyone, everyone! I did a thing! Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything zero is supposed to be. I mean, he's supposed to look like a random old guy who has no connections to any single person here, which means there's absolutely no reason why you guys were kidnapped. Just like we did. Besides, he was bored. <sighs> The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Because he was bored? Why? Because he jerked off in a corner? I don't fucking know why! Like I said, he's mocking us. Dude, he's not! He's only mocking really one person and I think it's Ace! Too bad, suckers! This isn't Zero! Where's the real me then? See you. could be eating me. right now. And so I decided to record for you guys. In the negative, in the freezing room. It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals. I do this to myself because I love you all. Run in circles. I wanted to be known that this was a DS game. You were supposed to just play this in short little bursts on a fucking bus or something, and this does not feel like something you can do in short little bursts. That's really twisted. It almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. My Elgato tells me that the Elgato program on my computer says I have 62.4 gigabytes free. I know that is bullshit. Because I have 500 plus gigabytes free. Alright, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? Ace. I don't know. <laughs> Just Ace. That's that's my answer. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? I have 577 gigabytes free. For sure, Elgato. Tell me I have 62.4. How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is. Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Like a fucking ID? A wallet? Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? Let's fiddle around with the dead body. Let's look him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? I love this. It's just Junpei just went straight for the scientific idea of let's flip a dead body over and check the pockets. <laughs> Cause he's a detective now. Okay, fine. Guess I'll do it. Junpei, you're just being very nonchalant with us. Here we go. Am I zero? Huh? Do I have split personalities? Hey, it's the. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. Come on, I've heard this before. Just let me scare. God damn it! I dropped my fucking controller. <laughs> I deserve that. Hands are freezing, so the controller slipped. 
I don't know what the fuck I want for food, but I want something warm, like really warm. Yeah, 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 too. Your fucking heartbeat reaches zero. Everybody oh, gets their shit. This man. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't know me. You really didn't realize this from the bloody hatchet. No, it's just I I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. He's in shock. He he was just like, oh yeah, dead body, but now they have to move it. He's like, oh right. This is reality. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious. The gravity of the situation is actually hitting him. I really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Yeah, no, I Clover, it's more like his brain's only filtering half the stuff in the world right now, and now it's adding the other half to make the full picture, and he's kind of crashing from yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. Well, uh, he looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> oh, yep, you know? he's, he's, he's disillusioning again. I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. Yeah, he's disillusioning. That's always fun, isn't it? I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? Junpei! Dying from a bomb going off inside of you? I mean, that's just... <sighs> I mean, it's on side, it's on the rib. I'm not gonna get into that. Somehow Snake's bones went right through his skin. Junpei! I, I think the explosion must have thrown him against a wall or something. Junpei! You're talking to her, his fucking sister! There's a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and. Uh, what did you just say? <gasps> oh no! We said we weren't there. We said that she could trust us. How do we know? Or, or, she's also realizing that right now the bone couldn't have been sticking through a, a body part because there would be no arm bone because she he had a prosthetic. Either she's realizing that we're full of bullshit and lie to her that we weren't there, or she's realizing it's all bullshit and the body couldn't have been snake. Oh man, uh, I am I I am so sorry. I I shouldn't have said that. I I really don't know what I was thinking. I mean I think it's the latter. I think she realizes that it's not snake. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? I am the great awful panics. Uh, <laughs> yes, his left. I'll hail the crimson you queen. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but I mean, I, didn't didn't you see it too? Yeah, but his is a prosthetic. Of course not. I could barely look at him. Except it's not him. There's no way I was gonna see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Well, when it comes to dead things and crazy things in your life, it kind of becomes burned and ingrained into your memories. So I think Junpei might know a little bit more than you. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, because that shit gets ingrained. And he had a broken bone, right? Yes. What the hell are you getting at here? It's not Just him. Shut up and answer me. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. And she's just going to smile and go, No, it's all right. Everything's cool. Clover? <laughs> it's not him. What's wrong? No, everything's right. That's the problem. We still know where he is. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I said It's anything. good news and bad news at the same time. We still don't know where he is, but at least we know he's not that. Thank you. Yeah, see. Huh? What are you... Thank you so much, Junpei. Oh, game, you won me back again. Oh, game, you won me back. Hey, uh, what's going on with you? 
I was hoping sooner or later somebody would give somebody else a hug in this game, because golly knows they all need it. I'm sorry, it's Except just... for Ace. Fuck him. He's I'm an so asshole. Happy. Clever in the one timeline, but Ace always. Why? The body in the shower room. It, it isn't his. It isn't my brother. Game, I what? love you. I do. I do. You were you were losing me just because of the cold and stuff, but this warms my heart. It's not Snake. <laughs> No, I'm not even joking. This actually kind of warms my body up because it's just, it, it makes me feel good. It's great. Hands are a bit cold still. Because his left arm is... Why did my phone go off? I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Motherfucker, no, you have to explain to him! Uh. What is wrong with you? He's still alive. No, what you have confirmation of is that that body isn't him. There could be another body hidden somewhere that actually is him. Like, for example, in a coffin in a cathedral with two doors that say nine on them. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I'm fucking shivering. <laughs> but this helps. You, you were right. Huh? What happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. Are we seriously doing the four leaf clover thing? If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Uh, that's. I, I only made it here because you gave me this. Are we really doing this game? You're losing me again. Please don't. I was suspicious of everybody. And I was angry and miserable. But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... I've been tagged in something on a free company server. <laughs> and it says, Ghost Adventures is literally just an hour of guys talking shit to ghosts and then screaming once they square up. This is why the movie Grave Encounters is so good, because it shows that the Ghost Adventures people are actually really just giant fucking pussies. You want the real people? Watch Ghost Hunters. Because Ghost Hunters, they don't fuck around. They don't try to piss off a ghost and then go, <gasps> when, you know, something actually happens. It's them doing a scientific thing. Ghost Adventures is just like, we went to the haunted witch house next door to Stonehenge, and we dropped a dildo in their favorite cup of soup. What will a ghost do? Probably possess you and ram your head into a wall a few times. And I don't fucking blame them. Yeah. Thank you so much, Junpei. Oh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you, you should be thanking Santa. Oh, oh no. Now we can just officially kill Ace. This is great. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him too. When the fuck did this happen? I don't remember any of this. Oh. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Start uh -huh. making pterodactyl screeches anytime an anime ellipses happens. They just go, ah, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> and now my roommate's probably like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> this is why I need fucking my own room. Not a fucking shitty little garage, but a, a, an actual fucking bedroom with the foam walls and everything. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. <laughs> did I uh, say something wrong? Anime is making me go crazy. No, not at all. In fact, this could be really good news. I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. Yeah? The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Shut the fuck up! Okay. No. No. Hold on. So that means... Let me think about this now. Ace is the mastermind. S Snake was a subject. Santa's a subject. 
Clover is related to a subject and slash or a subject. June and myself are whatever. Seven was a cop trying to find the missing kids. Eight was a mom of the missing kids. And number nine dead guy was... Oh, God. He worked for the same pharmaceutical company. He was Ace's second in command or some crazy bullshit. Subjects. So the only people not attached currently are June and myself. And that makes me think that June is 100% zero. The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago with my brother and me. Oh, my God. This is great. Yeah. He's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. What the fuck? fuck does that mean? So neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Are you telling me that the subjects know this four-leaf clover thing by psychically communicating with each other mentally across the world? If nobody has read Stephen King's The Institute, this is actively just the ending of Stephen King's The Institute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Except I'm Ace not. might be the good guy. Because The Institute leaves it on a very ambiguous note on who was in the right. Let's just calm down. I'm not even joking. Read Stephen King's The Institute at the end. You'll be asking yourself, do we waterport the children? And the answer might actually just be yes. Let's start from the top. It's kind of terrifying. The book actually makes you go, maybe we should kill the kids. Maybe we should torture them and pull their fingernails and stuff because it helps us save the world. I'm not even joking. Read the book. Read the fucking book. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four and so on. If you don't tell me stuff in the right order, I'm never going to be able to figure it out. Okay. All right. Let's start with this experiment. So once upon a time, happened on this boat when we all lived in the forest ago. and everybody lived ever, nobody lived ever anywhere else. Do you know about morphogenetic fields? I love you. We're getting back to everything. It's all connecting. We're not adding any more BS. Morphogenetic fields. Yes. Uh, fucking Santa or June told us. Oh, I signed bullshit. Or Lotus was the one who told us. Of the telepathic mechanism. Yes. Lotus mentioned something like that. Was that in the computer room? Telepathy, huh? I think. I think that was when Clover, Lotus, and I were together. Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So they were testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? I mean, we're just talking in a room. The Nonary game. Oh my god. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. Okay. Is Virtue's last reward the Nevada group? Is this exact same thing happening in Nevada as well right now? Like how there were two versions of the game back nine years ago? Look, I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the Nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? No joke, I'm actually asking. Are they not sequels? Are they are they parallel to each other? Very regulators and desperation Am I type. Something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. <laughs> so we stepped on the child's balls you know sometimes when you're up to help him be aware that he was in danger. The answer just kind of pops Again, read the, read the Institute. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened in that book. Stephen King has written worse things happening to kids in, that, in, in his books. He had a cocaine phase, and he really liked to add pedophilic shit to his books during the cocaine phase. That's an epiphany. Don't believe me? Read Needful Things. Read it. Read Desperation. And what you learn from the epiphany can Grace be Grace Brooks, but like, goddamn, what the 
fuck, you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information. You could write a telepathy. paper about all the weird shit that Stephen King has written about. So you're saying the nonary Why is there a racist in every single one of his books? That element of danger. Is it because of the fact that humans are the worst monster of all, or is it because King might be racist in some fashion? Yeah, but who knows? It couldn't be just any old danger. We oh got the torture room. It had to be life and death. The torture room. And, and someone did actually die. A girl. Was her name June? Is June a ghost? She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but when she died, I felt her death. I knew her name instantly. It was Mikuru Ikusaba. I did hear her name. <laughs> Please don't be Mikuru Ikusaba. Oh. Her name was... Bitch, this shit should be ingrained in your fucking memory. Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. I will fucking kill you, old man. <laughs> I don't care if you're Bato. I don't care if you're my Otis Mon. I will fucking end you. Nice. He is eavesdropping on every goddamn conversation. You two must have strong stomachs. Fuck you. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. Fuck you. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? Oh, fuck you. I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Is it with face recognition? Uh... uh. Oh, son of a bitch. He can't even be empathetic to the kids he fucking tortured during the experiments. Because he can't even register their fucking face. Faces. Come on, it'll only take a moment. I'm only now realizing that. He never has to put a face to any of the kids because he can't, he fucking mentally can't see them. Oh, that is dark. Oh, that's wrong. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei? What are you doing in there? That's not Hurry cool. Up. That, that's... Spike John thought that's not fucking cool. I mean, that's brilliant that you write a fucking villain that is so... apathetic to this shit. That he physically and mentally is apathetic to it. <sighs> he literally can't. But damn. Damn, what the fuck? Oh god, this is much shorter than the other one. Holy shit. Oh, and since Clover trusts me and shit, she won't try to fucking kill me with a hatchet. This is great. Oh, this is beautiful. Except now she can't talk to me because, uh... Because Ace is actively here with us a note which is great yeah i found it in the pocket of the guy with the captain's clothes yeah but did you still take the bracelet or did it all just get retconned and now it's a note it said something about the darkness of the sinister hand or something what the fuck does that mean uh, let me see it uh, no not right hey junpei clover what are you two doing hurry up she knows. She knows it's him. She's always known it's him. She has to know it's him. He's getting mad. She knows it's him. I'll show it to you later, all right? Oh my god, she's playing so casual because she has to, but she knows it's him. Come on, we gotta hurry. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, game, you, every time I think you're losing me, you win me the back. Look at that pocket. It doesn't particularly look like just a note. No, no, it does not. Jeez, what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's the zero bracelet. Oh, for crying out loud. Which would be brilliant. 
I should drink something. It's 1246. I have three hours before bed and fucking I haven't drank anything. I'm now realizing my head actually hurts. <laughs> oh, shit. This is where it ends up. Just yes. Like it says on the map. And then we can skip all this again. Jumpy! Clover! Is she going to pull the note out in front of every single person? What's up? Is she just going to group dynamic this? Ace can't do anything if the entire group is here? We found it! She might actually do that. Found what? We found it! If she knows she can trust everybody but Ace and everybody but Snake is here, then it's actively Ace can't do anything or he would risk everybody trying to stop him. What did you find? The last door! This is perfectly the time to do we it. We found door nine! What? What? Come on! Just follow us! We'll explain on the way! No. Okay. No wanna. Well, if that's the case... Wait for me. We should get going as well. Hmm... Jumpy! We finally made it! <sighs> Alternate timeline because we don't go back to check door two because Clover knows that Snake is fine. Yeah, it's finally time. And since we checked all the other doors, now she can assume that he's somewhere around door nine. We've reached the end. Something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the number door. Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Technically eight. Somebody has a zero. Two people. Is there a way? Yes. Uh, mm, I would have to do. I would have to do mental giant uh, mental gymnastics here. Four thirty. I don't really feel like doing it. We've only got ninety minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey, Junpei, June, what the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! We're having a romantic moment. Let's go, Junpei. We're the love interest of the game, Santa. Calm down. Yeah. Ugh. It can't be Junpei and Santa. It has to be Junpei and June, supposedly, according to Spike Chunsoft. Makoto and Jihira all the way. I know Mondo and Jihira, but... Mondo and Taka. I know I told you I'd explain it earlier, but... Honestly, there ain't much to explain. I know what I said. After we split off from you guys, the four of us got into the elevator on the left. Hajime and Chiaki, though, all the way. Side of the great. After that... We headed down another hallway. It took us toward the bow and eventually to the number six that you two found earlier. Oh my god! We opened it and kept going. There was another locked door behind it, like usual. But this time we had to complete two different areas before we could unlock it. Once we were through that door... Wait, that means he went through the confinement and the torture. There's another hallway that went the other direction, toward the stern. No. Six door. Six. Six, 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 six. Engine room, cargo room. <gasps> Wait, then who has the gun right now? So, on your way, you found the knife. Elevator. Wasn't there a gun near the coffin? I swear to God, there was a gun near the coffin. It's been weeks, months, I don't know. That's right. So, in other words, you kind of did a lap, huh? Point being, there's now a weapon that is in play that Ace does not have. You came from that side to this side. And Ace not having it is a big factor. If the weapon was taken. Yeah. So, where's the number nine door? Over here. Follow me. Okay. Uh, Everybody is way, together. You know, it's because of Santa that we're all here right now. Hey, go Santa. That all seven of us are going to door nine. Should be eight. We can oh. Oh god, this is a semi-good ending. As long as we can get into the coffin, we can get Snake and then we all are up to 36 and we all just get out. What? We could just divide it into 18 and 18 and it'd still work. You don't get it? Santa, Seven, and Lotus. Is 18, which is 9. What's their digital route? 9. 
it's night. That's right. They could have just left me behind and kept going if they'd wanted to. Oh. They didn't. Yes, because Santa wouldn't let them. She's Zira. He said we can't leave June and the others behind. That's why we went looking for you guys. Yeah, she's just a sweetheart. And then you got on the elevator I don't know. and went back to the central staircase. That's right. We don't know anything about her and how she connects. She has to be Zero. You that or we're Zero, and that makes no sense. Well, I, I wouldn't have called that one. Uh, that Santa would be the one to stick up for you. I mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that Seven and Lotus said they wanted to leave me behind. But they could have. We were just talking about it, and Santa objected to it first. That's cute. That's so. Oh man, are they the love and trust, June and Santa? We're here. So, is this the door to nine? Yeah. The door There's to no nine. Place for us to go. Oh, that's the ending of that's the fucking last episode's name. The door to nine. That makes sense. Nope. Or game Just over. I've been thinking about that for a while. What the last episode would be called? There's a big old iron wall at the end of the hallway. The other hallways on the left and right are blocked by metal grates. I see. All right, let's get moving. <sighs> are we near the end? Where are we on the map? Still? No way. <laughs> Two nine doors. Whoa! The nine door. We're finally here. No doubt about it. This is door nine. But what about Snake? <laughs> is Ace gonna pull some bullshit? Oh, finally, this is the last. Is Ace about to pull some bullshit? Oh, look behind you. Oh, it's behind the coffin. You. What? Why? A door and a nine. <gasps> oh right! Yep, two doors. There's another one. Hey, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? Crazy bullshit. There's a red there too. That means we can all leave together. And of leave a feather. Da 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 da. Why the hell are there two doors? So everybody can leave together. Do you think perhaps Same time. one is the right door and the other is the wrong one? I don't think. So. God, that would be so dumb. I don't know about that. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. What makes you say so? Well, think about all the rooms we've been through so far. They're full of puzzles, but there are always hints about how to solve them. I'm pretty sure there aren't any rooms where we just had to go with our best guess and leave it to instinct to solve the puzzle. I mean, yeah. Do you really think that at the very end of the game, Zero's going to suddenly throw in something that depends entirely on luck? Yeah, Aaron Jesus, take the wheel. Then you're saying there's some sort of hint in this room. I'm saying that Snake might have the answer, but Snake's in the coffin. No, I don't think there's a hint anywhere in here. You would know because you're zero. I searched it very well when I was in here before. Or you're just zero. I didn't find anything that might have been a hint, though. Look, the bun in her hair on the left side, zero. Hmm. Well, her left, oh. all right. Yeah. Both of these are the right door. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. Oh. Somebody I haven't heard from in a while just messaged me on Discord. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So if there are two number nine doors, they're both if right. Split it up, right? That's not gonna work. You've got a notebook and a pen, right? Can I borrow them? Oh, uh, we're gonna leave somebody behind. Yeah, here. Look at this. I'm trying to think. Uh, we currently add up to 34, which means we would have to drop. Seven has to stay behind. You get it? Not everybody can the go. The numbers on the top are all the combinations with digital roots of nine. The numbers on the bottom are the people who don't fit. I mean, as long as Ace gets to stay behind, I don't care.
care. There's only eight possibilities if we split up into two groups of three or four people. So... So just kill Ace. Three people go through the door, then four are left behind. Yeah. If four go through, then three are left behind. Right? Yeah. <sighs> no way. Guess why? <laughs> uh. <sighs> hmm. Or we could check the coffin. <sighs> or you could check the coffin. Come to think of it. What is this room? It's a fucking chapel. Cathedral. It looks like it's set Church. up some kind of ceremony. Blood for the blood god. Kind. Resurrection. Is that an altar? Oh my god, they're gonna free him. Oh, fucking... It's not Snake, it's the goddess. It's the fucking priest. It's the from the Egypt. Possibly be. Oh my god. Don't do this. Okay, I give up. I give up. I figured if we sat around here long enough, someone would volunteer. But I guess nobody's got the guts to do it. What are you talking about? He's doing it. This all equals 27. We can all leave together. What? You guys didn't figure it out yet? He's gonna stay behind. <sighs> fine, fine. Let me enlighten you. Clover was mostly right with her little explanation earlier, but she missed something. He can stay behind. She wasn't really wrong, she just... Forgot one equation. Ah, screw it! Let me just write it out. You could just fucking say it. Just say I'm leaving. Or I'm staying. Yeah. If you're trying to leave with a group of three and a group of four and get everybody out, Clover's right. But there's another way. Only one combination of and so the fun begins. If you split us up into groups of three, three, and one, you can make this combination. Wait, this means... I stay behind. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to copy Ace or anything like that. Even if he hadn't been the hero back in the big hospital room, I'd still be saying the same thing. Was he the hero? The same thing? Are you saying... Yeah, I am. I'll stay behind. Well, Seven, you were one of my favorite characters, but in this second to last ending, I guess, uh, I guess I'll be seeing you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess, even Ace is shocked. Why are you acting so heroic all of a sudden? Because he's a cop. Are you some kind of idiot? Nah, he's a cop. He does the right thing. No, I'm completely against this. I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna have to owe you for getting An anime copy does the right thing. I'm against They're it too. better for I all you people. Behind and I don't want to leave you either. I say rolling my eyes. I don't like that idea. There's gotta be other options. Yeah, check the fucking coffin. I disagree as well. I can't say I care much for you being the hero. Well, there you go, Seven. Proposal denied. Clover's right. There's gotta be a better way than this. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. Whoa, hold on a minute. I haven't said anything yet. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Are you... agreeing? You want to leave him here? Nah, I'm against it. I don't want to leave Seven here alone. Oh my god, are we all staying? Then I don't see how it matters. Is this the suicide pact? I said alone. Huh? I said I don't want to leave Seven alone. Okay, but you would st a fucking no. It's thirty four twenty seven tw uh, twenty four. So now June has to stay. What the hell are you? Or Ace and I have to stay. What? You don't get it? I can't leave just one person. I need two more. You're crazy. Three people, including Seven. I'll be leaving behind three people. That's my proposal. No, those are my orders. Who the fuck do you think you are? What do you mean, orders? What the hell makes you think you can order us around? Who the hell's gonna listen to you? Fucking I've... Oh, 
god, he has white hair. He's a fucking psychic kid. You all will. In three seconds, you won't have a choice. He's gonna touch a fucking door. What? Three, two, one. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the? F I told you. Fucking! I. I said there was gonna be a weapon in play. I said there was gonna be a fucking weapon in play. <laughs> huh? What? I called it. Why? Again. What the hell is that? The gun's the in the room. Room. This is the cargo room gun. Room. Cargo room. room. Six. Oh my god. Nobody was gonna do Fucking this. Fucking goon. Should have taken the gun. Fucking this is great. I knew well, there was gonna be a new weapon in play. Now, I didn't think ass. Jesus Christ, just fucking everyone's gonna kill each other. Damn it. Ace is an asshole, Clover's an asshole, Santa's an asshole, fucking who else? <laughs> who else wants to be the asshole? Now, time for you to start following my orders. Oh my god. Ace, Lotus, congratulations. I've chosen you to come with me. Are you fucking kidding me? Put your hands in the red. Hey, you deaf? I gave you an order. Oh my god. Is this payback for the alternate timeline where I chose door three? <laughs> right. Fine. Cool. I'm gonna accept this as my punishment for choosing door three. I didn't want to waste any bullets, but you guys just don't get it. Oh my god. Huh. Oh, I thought he was gonna put a bullet inside of June. He really shot it? Holy shit. But why? Santa, why are you... Santa, I thought... I thought you were one of us. I thought we were friends. Oh, uh, one of the experiment kids. What? You knew about the leaf words and the four-leaf clover. What the hell is that shit? I've got no idea. Did he lock his memories away, or was he not actually an experiment You're kid? You're lying! Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid bitch! Oh, he's trying to forget about it. You want me to put a bullet in your fucking head? Okay, Santa. I'm now starting to like Clover again. Can you calm the fuck down? Santa! Alright, assholes. What are you still standing there for? Shut up, killer. You know, Whatever, I'm she's zero. Those bracelets. I don't have all day. Sick of oh, What's the matter? Your hearing's starting to go? Going senile, maybe? No, we just realized the math, which is you're holding a revolver, which holds six bullets at the most, and you've already used one on the floor. If you kill June, that leaves you with four. And there's more than four of us. So please, start killing people, Santa. See what happens when you run out of bullets. Uh. <sighs> That's it. Yeah? It's the only way. Are, are we serious right now? Please, go. No way. Jumpy, what are you saying? It's fine. If you it's all stay fine. here, you're going to be stuck, Jumpy. It's fine. You'll survive. And so will Clover and Seven. But you will live. I know. You will live. But you don't need to worry about us. We'll figure something out. This is the June Lives timeline. Right, Seven? Okay. Right. You just leave it to us. Okay. It's gonna piss me off to do what Santa says, but... Don't worry about me, either. There's still something I have to take care of. Fine, Santa. Or fine... Snake. No! No! You can't! No, it's fine. Ace! Lotus! Don't come over! No, it's... Santa, if you're really doing this, I have... I have one thing to say. Pull a bullet inside of Ace. Don't worry 
worry about me. Please. Just put a bullet inside of Ace. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Please. Put a bullet in Ace. Go. Oh, all right. Fine. All right. Now let's Notice that Ace's sense. eyes have always had no pupil. <sighs> What's the holdup? What? You think I'm fucking around here? I don't give a shit about this girl. Sure you don't. We've been through all this crazy shit together. But sure you don't. The red doesn't need a person, you know? Five bullets. More than five people. All I need is the bracelet. Waste another bullet in a demonstration. Get it? Good. Do it, Mara. Put your fucking, fucking dare you. A scanner. I'm not gonna say it again. Fine. <sighs> Good job. Wait. Hold on. Baby's doing math in her head. Damn it. I was gonna say fucking wait, wait. Seven can still stay behind and I can leave. Clover probably still has the zero bracelet. Now Lotus, pull that lever. Five and four and zero is nine. As soon as the door opens, you get your next We can chase after Santa. Try anything stupid, and you know what happens, right? You should probably still try to find Snake, but the point still means that we have an ability to get out. She would have to sacrifice her brother, though. Good. Go. Later. <laughs> Fuck you, Santa. You were good this entire game, except for in this timeline. Every timeline is everybody's an asshole. Each timeline is a different asshole. Clover, we can leave. Did you take the zero? Or while we're sitting here, the fucking door bands. <sighs> I'm gonna die. Aren't I? God. Shoot. Yeah. So, what do you want to do, Junpei? Well, at this time, if it were me, I'd probably have a drink. Or a bit of an edible. But neither one is an option now, is it? What do you mean, what do I want to do? What can we do? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking snake. But we don't have the code. Because it was in the alternate be... timeline. Uh, hey, I think it's coming Damn from it. his coffin. Fuck. You're right. Let's open it. How? But how? What are those muscles for, for show? Oh my god. Fuck the lock. Just punch the wood. You're telling me to force it open? Just punch the wood. Just shut up and try. Oh my god. <sighs> Don't even. Does this work? Damn it. Ah, no. Don't do this. It won't even budge. Punch it. Fucking kill Bill, that bitch. Not another one. 35, 14, 27, 24. I don't uh, remember. Looks like it. Do you think we have to put in the right password or it won't open? Probably, but we did this before in an alternate timeline. So. We don't have the password at this point. Whoever or whatever's inside this thing wants out. And now. 
Oh god, they're gonna think it's the Egyptian priestess. I know that. But how? Without a passcode, I, I don't think there's much we can do. Isn't there a hint somewhere? Well, let's look for one. Shit. Ugh, there's nothing here. There's no time. Not making this easy, are they? Is this still going? Fuck! The three left behind. Fuck you, game! Great. Four! Four left behind! There's a person in the coffin! Rude of you to forget that snake exists. What's the passcode? What no idea. What supposed to do? How can we figure it out? Alternate timeline visions! Activate! Something. A morphogenic field! This is actually how it ends. Did the bomb just go off? Did the fucking... Truth had gone... Truth and... Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. What? Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Wait, what? What the hell was that? That voice? Don't! Don't do morphogenic feel bullshit! <laughs> Has Junpei unlocked his third eye? Huh? Oh, um, <clears throat> uh, nothing. No, don't even. He pressed the buttons. Don't fucking even. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I don't remember. Um, game, game, you won't even let me check. Mm. Fuck, oh, um. wasn't it like right, right, left? Oh my god, I think it's this bottom one. I think it's this one. Shit, oh god. That's wrong. You should know that already. Thanks. That's wrong, you should know that already. You should know that truth means right. <sighs> Great, what was it? Dude, I don't remember this shit. This was weeks ago. Right, left, right, left, right, le was it really that? <sighs> right, left, right, left, right, left, yeah. Fucking weird game is weird. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh? Huh? Just type it in. Hey, what the hell were those numbers? Are we in the good timeline? <gasps> Whoa! So that timeline's just fucked. That timeline just sucks. That timeline's shit. Okay. I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh. Are those. Huh. Type it in. Type it in. One, four, three, eight. Three, four, two, one. One, four, three, I don't know when the hell to end this. I thought this would just be the end of the timeline, but fuck me, we're still going. Well, shit. I'm okay with this. Does that mean I did not get the ending? Did I fuck this up? <sighs> no way. I didn't get the three left behind ending because I fucking... Huh. I guess I'll have to go back and get the... the um, achievement for a later point. Wh why are you? <laughs> Snake. Oh? Is that you, Clover? I apologize for worrying you. Is this still? Holy shit. Snake! You? Why? Junpei? And Seven? 
Is that you? Is everyone else there as well? Ha <laughs> uh, Funny story about that, actually. <laughs> no! Jeez. Because S- S- Santa's a fuck. Cool. So in the real timeline, Santa's an asshole. You're, you're bad. Good to know. The true ending is Santa holds June at gunpoint. Great. Just great. Gently now. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at them. My body's still a little weak. Oh, they're back. This can't seriously be it, right? Holy shit. Ah. Uh, I mean, if I save... Does it save the fucking... It does not save the ending. Huh. I don't know when the hell to end this. You're back. Come now, what's gotten into you? You're acting as though I've returned from the grave. <laughs> uh, about that. Not as though you did. I really thought you were dead. I'm glad they're back together, though. Huh? You Look at her, she's cute. I hunger. Also, it is 117. Fuck me. I am still recording. I cannot wait to have a fucking room. I see. I believe I understand things rather well now. Thank you. Cool. Uh, is this the new square? God damn. Seriously? In the shower room, there is a dead body wearing my clothes. Can we get to the next square, please? Because of that, you thought that I was dead. Correct. Yeah. You also discovered a corpse in the captain's quarters, and Santa turned on you here, in this room. Yeah, he was kind of a dick Do about I have it. it straight? Y- yes, actually, yes. Well, the dead body in the captain's quarters is a surprise. Sorry, there wasn't a good time to tell you. Don't worry about it. Well then. I've got a pretty decent idea of what happened while I was indisposed, but... How would you know, Santa? Or Snake? Are you the Sukik? It's still something of a mystery who did all this, and why. Ace. Because he's an ass. The corpse in the shower room that looked like me. And the corpse in the captain's quarters. Why were they killed in the way they were? Because he's an ass. I'm not even joking, it is an ass. No. Why would I? The guy in the shower room. We don't know who he is, so let's just call him Mr. X. Anyway, this Mr. X is wearing Snake's clothes. But you're wearing some kind of weird robes. That means someone took your clothes and put them on Mr. X. Which is such a weird thing. Can I just say that? And that's just a weird ass thing to do. We need to figure out who that was. I apologize, but I have no idea who might have done this to me. Oh? I only just now woke up. I was unconscious during all the events you just described to me. They must have undressed me and changed my clothes during that time. When were you knocked out? When we split up to look for the red. Where did they get you? Do you remember? But I'm being quiet because I'm trying to find out if I need an achievement for that three left behind ending. And the answer is no. You just need the achievement for the final ending. It was a small room in one of the hallways on C deck. What happened? The same thing that happened to every one of us when we were abducted. Crazy a bullshit. Releasing some sort of gas was thrown into the room. I believe the gas is some sort of incapacitating agent. Then that means it was zero. Looks that way, huh? There's nothing else I have to tell you. 
when I woke up, I was in this coffin. Hmm. Why? Why did Zero make Mr. X wear Snake's clothes? Uh, to make sure we didn't think he was dead? Or to make sure we thought he was dead for some reason. How would that benefit Zero? <gasps> Zero wanted Ace to think Snake was dead because he fucking bases everything off of clothes and other stupid bullshit because he's a fucking psychopath who can't see faces. I'm not saying people who can't see faces are psychopaths. What I'm saying is that Ace is a psychopath and he also coincidentally can't see faces. And I have no idea how I got the passcode for the coffin either. <gasps> Psychic! Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Where did those words come from? Psychic! Why did I feel compelled to I'm lying. after hearing them? All I know is my fingers moved on their own. Morphogenic fields. <laughs> Morphogenic field. Also, crazy science bullshit. Similar experiment nine years ago. Yes, fucking are we done? Oh my god, game, please. I am cold. I want to eat. I want to pee. I want to get a warm with a blanket. The first is epiphany. And the other is danger. Danger being blown up by Santa and the ship and all sorts of crazy bullshit. And someone did <coughs> die. Who died? I want to know that. Her name Who's the was... girl? <gasps> was it Lucas's daughter? Oh, it was it was Lucas' daughter. Oh no, it had to be. <sighs> Nine years ago, and a girl had died during it. Morphogenetic field theory. The two murders. <sighs> Switching clothes. Yes. <laughs> It's a mask kind of palindrome. I just realized that. Was it a palindrome? It might have been a palindrome. Zero. Zero. He's the ringleader. The person who trapped nine of us on this sinking ship. Zero should know everything. If we can uncover Zero's identity, all of our questions will be answered. You think? <sighs> Potentially, there's two more games. That means nothing. At any rate, we'll have plenty of time to decipher the details later. For now, it is of utmost importance that we escape. Yes, this is true. Junpei, it was 4.30 the last time you checked the clock, yes? Yes. Which means it's probably 5 that now. That means we have less than an hour. It's past 5. Cool. We must hurry. We just sat here for fucking 45 minutes. Hey. Uh, how are we going to get out of here? Uh, 2 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4. Isn't that obvious? Through the other number 9 door. A fucking genius. Oh, oh yeah. yeah you're we right. don't even have to use the zero. That's awesome. With snake, we can open the door. Yeah. Don't tell me you hadn't figured that out. Seven isn't exactly the brightest bulb. He is a cop after all. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Come on, you gotta tell me these things. I'm joking. I, uh, assumed you'd figured it out. Forget it. Let's just get going. Yee. So is he ever gonna regain his memories in this timeline? Alright. Because I feel like he should. Ready to go? No. Yes. yes. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. Not yet. What the fuck do you mean not yet? What the fuck? Huh? What are you doing? Before we go in, I'd like Damn to check it. something. You want to check something? What the fuck do you need to check? Yeah. 
But before I do, Seven, could you pull the lever? Fucking cables everywhere! I need a desk. I need like a real desk. I want to make sure we can verify with just the four of us. What do you mean? We don't need... Just do it, alright? Uh, okay. But if the door opens, don't go in yet, okay? Why the fu- Reds and Neds, you idiot! <sighs> Please, this is really important. I really need to check this, okay? Work with me here. Okay. I don't know what this is. I'm all confused. That means the four of us can go into door nine. Why the fuck did you think you couldn't? So, we knew that already. It's obvious. Or was this supposed to be a test to see if everybody needed to live and because we blew up the guy at the very beginning of the game, everything was fucked? Obvious. Yeah. You're right. It is. Junpei, what the fuck are you talking about? What happens if we add Zero's bracelet? Dude, seriously? What? Zero's bracelet? Why don't you take it out, Clover? <laughs> so you did know I had it. <laughs> More of a genetic feel though, remember the timeline! I picked it up because I thought it might be useful sometime. <laughs> yeah! Especially when you took a hatchet to me, bitch! <coughs> Very nice this of you to lose your goddamn mind. Corpse in the captain's quarters. If you look at it, you can see it's got a zero on the face. Oh, we are checking to see if it's actually a zero or another number. Wait, so, well, okay, hold on, just, just bear with me. If the zero, if zero, if June is actually zero, then the zero would register as a six. And so the door won't open with the five bracelets. But that means we would have to do... Uh, bracelet? Oh god, hold on. I have to equal 18. Bracelet would equal 12. <sighs> Jun uh, Junpei? Seven and the zero bracelet would equal 18 if it's June. Just to make this a little easier to talk about, uh, I'm gonna call the guy we found dead in the captain's quarters, uh, Cap. Yeah, that works. Then I should be able to open door nine with just me, Clover, and his bracelet. But, but it won't work. Is, if Cap is the mastermind of this game, would he really put one of these bracelets on? No. Anyway, uh, let's just give it a shot. Clover. Okay. It doesn't work. If it does work, then it's just a zero bracelet. If it doesn't work, then it means something else. And pull the lever. I knew it. Okay. So the zero doesn't register as the zero registers as the person who is zero. If Ace turns out to be zero, then the zero bracelet counts as a one, not a zero. Now, what does this tell us? That it's not a zero. Maybe the bracelet has to be on your wrist in order for it to work? No, we already know that doesn't work. That's impossible. Did you see how the panel showed a third asterisk when I scanned Cap's bracelet? Whether or not it's on your wrist doesn't matter. All you have to do is put the bracelet near the panel for it to register. It means that's one of us. Huh. We can actually that's register right. who it is. We can do some combinations. So what does that mean? I'm telling you, it's June. There's only one possibility. If we put seven, myself, in the zero bracelet against it, I'm telling you right now, it will open because that will equal 18, and 18 is nine digital root. That bracelet isn't the number zero. I'm telling you. Is that what you're saying? I'm telling you, it's, it's fucking June. That's right. Are we still in the same fucking block? Jesus Christ. Then what number is it? We can test it. Let's find out. Scan the bracelets with the combination. <sighs> I want to 
do seven Junpei and the cap. That's my personal belief, is it's Jin. Let's try seven, me, and cap. If this works, I have been right since the beginning. If this combination opens the door, then Cap's bracelet is number six. Uh... Oh! <laughs> I've been right <laughs> since day one. What? Why? What does that mean? Isn't it obvious? Literally I had no connection to the plot. Cap's bracelet is number six. Oh! But doesn't it say zero? Oh! God, I'm good! It isn't a zero. It's a the six. The symbol on here isn't a number zero. It's a letter O. Oh my fucking... It's 24 in base 36. 2 plus 4 is 6. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't get it. I think it's 24 in base 36. I mean, we figured out that Cap's bracelet is 6, right? <laughs> I swear to God, if you're adding everything... This is some puzzle hunt. Fucking each puzzle leads into the next thing bullshit. Does that mean there are two people with sixes? There is most no. likely only one person with a six. But it's June. I don't get it. What about June? She's zero. Well, this She's is a only six. An educated guess, but Snake's putting it together. I think June's number was never six to begin with. It's zero. Her bracelet was flipped. Shut up. In other words, June's real number is... A nine. Nine. Smart ass. That seems Based the most on. Then all this number door stuff was just a load of crap? No. It means that she could always get through. No matter what. She added nothing to the equation. Nine always keeps the exact same digital root. She could go with anybody, which proves she's zero. Why would you say that? She could literally go with any group as long as they're coding already added to the number. She never picked anything. She always just followed along. Because if June is nine, then the numbers wouldn't match up. Here, look. List of all the numbered doors June's gone through. Oh, shit. I'll let you know what I'm writing, okay, Snake? Nine plus three is twelve, plus five is seventeen, plus eight is twenty-five, which would equal seven. She can go through any door. And that's everything. I wrote down which door she went into and with whom. The whole point was for this to be shorter. What the fuck? And I wrote what all the numbers were. Game. So if you switch numbers Why? wherever there's a six, the numbers don't work. If the digital root is 7, then you can't open door 4. If the digital root is 2, then you can't open door 8. Clover, do you notice anything interesting on that list? Uh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm trying to figure out some math here. Hmm. <laughs> No. What do you mean? You're talking about three, right? What? Say <gasps> Were they always in on it? Three? Santa's always in the room with her. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Are they? Who's the gun? Bullshit? Yes, that's right. What about it? 
that always bullshit? That's quite simple, really. You told me that the first time you came to this room, Santa was the first to refuse to leave June behind. <gasps> what the fuck is... <laughs> Now, doesn't that beg the question why? Why would Santa do such a thing? I don't know, but... Oh, God, every time I think I... I like, man, 95% of this game, I'm just like, uh-huh, yep, I got it. Now I have no fucking clue anything's the up in the air. They're in it together. Because Santa can't open door 9 with only 7 and Lotus. Of course, there's only one reason for that. Uh, fucking, um, I, I, uh, His isn't actually three. Game, don't do this to me. Is it an E? Is it E, which means it's like 14 or some bullshit? What the fuck's happening? Santa's real number. Seven? Would you be so kind as to modify my sister's equations? Uh... Uh, is he zero? Yeah, sure. Is he zero? This Have I been wrong? Right, Snake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, shut the fuck up for a minute. Six plus three is nine. Plus five is fourteen. Plus eight is twenty-two, which would equal four. Yes. Nine plus five is fourteen. Plus eight is twenty-two, which means. Yeah, he he has to be zero. <laughs> Holy shit, Snake is zero. Hmm. I'm wrong. What the fuck? <sighs> Thank you. That is exactly right, Seven. Okay, but that means they might be a pair. Because he would have to know that she was nine. Which means they're on it together. Which means... Game, what are you doing? Number wasn't three. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? It what the hell? <laughs> what? Santa is zero? What? And June was nine, not six. Which means they perfectly together add nothing to the equation it's five plus eight is oh my god it was five plus eight is 13 which is fucking four. Oh my god this fucking stupid game they're in on it together they have to be conversely santa was zero not three they're both full of bullshit plus three and minus three they uh. cancel one another out nothing appears out of order why Santa was still playing by the rules. What? The time. Precisely. Ah! Uh, Santa planned this whole thing. Uh, I'm not sure if he acted alone or not. I don't think he did. I think June's still part of it. But I think it is safe to conclude that he uh, is zero. Oh my God! My hypothesis is correct. Game. Let me end. Hmm. <laughs> For God's sake! Something doesn't seem right. June's bracelet being flipped. Even if that were possible, that would mean there are two number nine bracelets. Holy shit, it does! And if that's the case. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go. It's high time we went through that door. She knew. She knew. Something is something's going on. Oh, it's right there. This game is messed up. This game's great. Oh my god, this game is Whoa. even even this light is fucking right. with me. Let's keep going. Woo! Save. Stairs go to the bottom deck. Save. Oh lord. Looks dry. Let's head down. Yay! Hey, it's a... It's a... Hmm... Uh... I don't know if we have the key. This is the Neptune symbol. There must be a key around here somewhere. <laughs> we went down... We went down even closer to the ocean floor. 
and the fucking door is is fucking for Poseidon. That's great. Neptune key. <laughs> Brilliant. I only have the Uranus key card. It's a different planet. Plus, it's the wrong kind of key. Yeah, no shit. Let's turn around and go back for now. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Uh-oh. Hey, another door. Hey, a fucking... Oh my god, game. And a card reader this time. Oh, uh, but it's Mars. It's Uranus symbol. Ooh, no, this is the one. This cool. The place. Yeah, let's get that fucking library. Woo, hmm. woo. Let's find a fucking Egyptian priestess. Hmm. To possibly go wrong. Or watch as it was Oh my god, I could die here. It's totally full of books! I could die in this place. There's so many. I don't know where to look. Look for House of Leaves. Alright, if we want to get through that door out there, we need the Neptune key. Which is probably in here. I say we split up and look for it. Let's split up and search for clues. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Very well. Sure thing. Good. Let's get started then. We don't have a lot of time. Hurry. Oh, please tell me it's a puzzle room with a fucking timer. What the fuck? Let me end. <laughs> Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge. As he began his search for reasons he didn't fully understand, Junpei felt this particular root words through his mind. Oh my god. Yes? And? Eat? Bomb? Rope? Yes? Yay! Holy shit! Fucking hell! <laughs> Damn! Holy fuck! It is 1.40! I have two and a half hours left! Of being awake! Fuck! Next time! On this fucking crazy game that we call 999! Damn! Damn, just damn everything. This game's crazy. This game's fucking weird. This game's... It's Spike Turnsoft. It's Spike Turnsoft. Next time, I swear to God, fucking... June and Santa are in it together. It only makes sense. It, it just makes sense to me. June has to be something. June's weird. Yep. We get closer to the true ending. Please, uh... I, I don't even know. Please, I guess, like, comment, subscribe, and the Twitter, Patreon, Twitch, all in the description below. I got nothing. I'm out of energy, I'm cold, and I just, I just, this game is throwing me for loops. Even this late, throwing me for loops. Alright. Yeah, peace and love to you all as always. <laughs>